Jerry Moore. Jerry Moore. What's going on people and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. It's a beautiful day outside today and I want to show you a little spot that's going to have a Cars and Coffee on Cinco de Mayo. Now you might have seen me last year at this um, performer shop KRW. My man Keith is having his annual Cars and Coffee. But this year I need y'all help. So he's always had, I've been there one year and this is his third year doing it. And um, from videos that he's posted online, seems like he's always had a great turnout, but not many Mustangs up there. So this is what I need y'all to do. I'm gonna challenge you. I want to do a SN95 takeover of this Cars and Coffee. So I wanna try to get as many SN95s as possible to roll to this takeover. Um, there's plenty of parking, we can, post up in our own little section and um, really stand out. So let's head over here to uh, KIW Performance and then we'll come back and close this out. All right, so I'm back at KRW. I'm picking up the oil pan. I'm here with the owner, my man, Keith. Hey, I appreciate you not having uh, my parts for three months. Like I know some places will have your parts held hostage, but my man, Keith is um, pretty quick at getting your stuff out. So. For all my new people out here, Keith, I want you to just give a, um, a rundown of uh, what you have here. Yeah, absolutely. So we own uh, Care Day Performance and Customs here in Lockport, Illinois. Uh, we do a little bit of everything as far as you know, custom exhaust, turbo kits, um, you name it, basically. We do a little bit of everything. Uh, we also do uh, some basic maintenance on cars as well, uh, whenever we can fit them in. Um, so yeah. So how, how long have you been here? So uh, the shop's been open for three years now. For three years yep. now. And you have a performance line that you're building right now. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the performance line is a KRW performance line. Um, this right here is called the KRW 600, which is an off-road version F-150. Uh, it's got the five liter coyote in it. Um, and then, so this, like I said, is a KRW 600, which is a stage one, which uh, the 600 stands for horsepower, and that is at the wheels. Whereas uh, most manufacturers, measure it at the crank, right? So uh, fuel at the wheels is legit horsepower. So that's how we, we measure it here. Uh, we have a KRW 600, we have a KRW 800, we have a KRW 1000R and a 1200R. 1000R and a 1200R. Yep. And so this is a package that you sell. So a person would bring in their truck and they'll have an option of the 600 all the way up to the 1200? Correct, yep, yeah. So you can either bring in your, your bone stock F-150 uh, with the Coyote, platform in it and you can say hey Keith we want to do a KRW 600 package now you can get it in a street version uh, which obviously be a drop truck um, typically on drag radials or you could go the off-road version which what we have here this is a four inch lift on uh, 35s with off-road tires um, and basically the package includes everything from an appearance package to upgraded interior to obviously performance um, this particular truck the stage one has a gen 5 3 liter whipple on it Uh, we got this custom stainless steel three inch exhaust on it. Uh, it's got an upgraded five inch aluminum drive shaft. Uh, we also do, uh, we have drive train upgrades as far as this will have the uh, Eaton LSD uh, diff in the rear. And then it's got a uh, Eaton um, electronic e-locker up front okay. and then 411 gears. Um, but yeah, so we can basically customize it from mild to wild. From mild to wild. Yeah. And so I think the great thing about this, um, you have this truck and not only are you just building it, you're going to prove it. I know you have this uh, Cars and Coffee coming up. I've been promoting it and been telling some of the SN95 community. So make sure y'all come out here. But you got something lined up for this truck. Um, yeah, absolutely. So obviously everybody knows, you know, the, the rivalry between the Dodge and the Ford, right? With the TRX um, and stuff like that. So, you know, we wanted to come out with our performance package and, and 
prove you know what we have to offer here so what we have lined up actually is we have a good old dig race set up with a stock trx versus our stage one carry w600 here um so we're gonna do a dig race and then we're gonna do a roll race just to show the differences as far as the performance line you know yeah. what can it what can it do compared to a, a trx so i think the, the one of the great things and let me just pan out and show y'all um, the property over here and he's going to have the cars and coffee here and the dig race is going to be um, right along this nice straightaway here but last time when we came here um, for the cars and coffee you have a rule of uh, what's required when you leave what is that <laughs> yes absolutely so i you know i'm a gearhead by heart so uh the rule is if you come on the lot to show your car when you leave you have to leave a burnout you gotta you gotta lay some rubber on the ground <laughs> you gotta send it and I, I don't know if you can tell from the, the video but you can see some tracks that have been laid down coming out of here so yeah we definitely have a couple years of rubber out there whether <laughs> it's from our cars and coffee or you know, sometimes we do some straight digs right in front of the shop for testing on customer cars, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it definitely, we get down out here. So I, I've, I've been telling y'all about this cars and coffee, and I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's it's a perfect little area out here. Like, it's, I'm not saying that we're out here in the sticks, but we're out here where we can have a little fun, and it's a nice straightaway. You don't have to worry about a lot of traffic. There's plenty of room for everybody to come out here. And it's definitely going to be a fun event. Like last year was my first year knowing about it. But how many years have you been doing this cars and coffee? So this will be our third year now. Third year now. Yep. All right, great. And so you you have your shop truck, and yep. you have some. Um, now help me out if I'm pronouncing this wrong. The Barrera engines, right? The Barrera motors. Barrera motors, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And what what kind of plans do you have with those? Yeah, so if people are not familiar with the Barrera setup, the platform, um, they're only offered in Australia. It's a four liter inline six motor, dual overhead cam. Um, one thing that's great about that platform is it can handle a ridiculous amount of power from the factory, right? So the block, the crank, and the heads can support 1500 horsepower, right? Wow. So or more. Um, so essentially, changing rods and pistons and adding tons of boost to it, and you got a great platform. You know, um, since I myself am a big Ford fan at heart, right? So uh, we wanted to get our hands on some some Barra motors. So I actually have two. Uh, we're gonna do one into a 2000 Ford Ranger, which will be the the race truck for the shop. Nice. Um, and then we're using another one for some R and D for future um, parts development and stuff like that. Um, so speaking but, of parts development, you have. Um capability of making custom parts here, right? Correct, yeah, so we got a CNC plasma right now and uh, we're gonna be producing some stuff here in the future. Right now there's a lot of stuff in the works, but it's all just R&D at the moment, you know what I mean? Uh, once we actually get some testing out with some of these parts, then obviously we're gonna offer it to the to the public. Right, cool, you mind giving us a quick little tour of the yeah, shop? Yeah, come on inside. All right guys, so this is the inside. Um, you can take a peek a little over there. What we got going on is a custom uh, seating area for the customers. So what we have is, if you, if you look close, they're actually uh, 383 rods and pistons out of an old Camaro. There's the legs set up here, and then, you know, the race seats. Want to make it uh, nice and friendly for the gearheads when they come in. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the area here. And then, uh, see the door over here, it's wrapped in 70 carbon fiber. Passion meets quality craftsmanship, as you can see. Nice. Definitely a passion of mine. Now, you have a uh, Facebook group, right? Or a Facebook page? Correct. So, Character Performance is uh, the Facebook page. No, sweet. Now, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way they can do it? Uh, they can either email it. It's performance at gmail.com. Or you can uh, call the number here, which is 815-919-3534, which is actually right in the back of the shirt there for a little visual. Nice. Now, Keith, I have to say, man, this has been a, a treat finding you here. It's, it's right in my backyard. Um, I actually had Keith weld this bung on for me. And gosh, I have to say, man, the turnaround on this has been great. Um, I look forward to working with you on some more things. I was just talking about the, uh, the 410 gear on Project Kendra, um, the custom side exhaust for the, the red car. 
and man i can't wait to get the um the cars over here for this uh cars and coffee i know i have about seven people who said that they're going to come with us uh with their s95 mustangs but nice yeah so hopefully we'll um get a good turnout i expect the um the krw is going to gap that um oh, trx yeah. yeah i hope so <laughs> but man, hey, problem. hey man i appreciate uh you taking care of this for me and i'm looking forward to uh, more work with you yeah absolutely same here <clears throat> All right, as you can see, God, I was about to say, as you can see, I, I ain't using that word. That's like the most overused word of um, all time on YouTube. So we went and checked out the spot. It's a real nice area. Keith is a real cool guy. It's in an unincorporated um, little spot. So you don't have to worry about 12 breathing down our back. But at the same time, we can have fun, but we have to be responsible. Isn't there like a slogan, like drink responsibly or something like that? So we can play responsibly there. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with revving your car or maybe sending it as you leave, but, you know, sliding or anything like that in the middle of the street, you can't do that. Like that's gonna get that shut down. We're not gonna have this nice little spot to have a little fun. So yeah, I really need the S95 community to come out. You know, if you know somebody in the Chicagoland area, um, give them a heads up about it. I'm starting to post it on my social media platforms. Um, if you're on any of the S95 Facebook groups, go ahead and share that information because it'd be cool if we can get at least, you know, 10 of us out there um, at this Cars and Coffee. I think that'd be a real good number. Anything more than that would just be icing on the cake. But um, yeah, before we get out of here, let me give you a little update because I'm out here promoting this cars and coffee and I would feel really stupid if I don't have this red car ready. So I'm um, making some progress on getting all this stuff put back together. You know, the sad thing is, you know, when you do this stuff and if you're unorganized like me, um, sometimes I put things down and I don't remember where um, I put them or either they grow legs and run off someplace. So, but uh, let's just go over where I'm at so far on this. All right, so the, the biggest hurdle, I don't want to say the biggest hurdle, but um, one big thing that I was able to do is I was able to get the turbo back on, um, cast the camera plates, valve covers, the alternator bracket. This was a good time to um, put the filter on, new filter. So, yeah, um, we'll do the power steering bracket. This is the other little thing that I'm, I'm doing this year is I'm using the, a better AC condenser. Now, the 94, 95 AC condensers uh, from Ford, they had a, I don't say had a problem, but they did not allow airflow, the path of airflow through them weren't as good as some of the newer ones. So this is actually a new edge style um, AC condenser. What I like about these is these just bolt into the condenser instead of using the um, push locks. And for this side, how I have to route this turbo, well, how I have this turbo, you know, you kind of have to bend these lines a little bit. So I'm actually going to get the, um, the high pressure liquid line, or I guess, yeah, this, this is the high pressure side. So I'm actually going to get this line cut and braze with the factory line. So I'll have the high pressure end on that side and it'll be the stock end going over to, to this. So just a little small little tweak I'm gonna do and hopefully this will help cool the car off even better. But besides that, it's um, business as normal. I am going to work on putting the um, power steering bracket back on today. I got to get the harmonic bouncer back on and I'm still going to put the other fan on here. I was going to do um, heart lines instead of the braided steel, but I think I'm just going to run out of time and I just don't want to be in a situation where I missed this cars and coffee because I'm modifying this engine bay. So now is a good time to tighten up some of these um, header bolts. I was um, chatting with my man, Certified Ripper, 
and I was telling him about these 12 point header bolts and how they're a godsend if um, you have an on three turbo kit. Because the problem with these regular head size bolts is too close to the port right here, and you can't get like a um, a wrench, a box hand wrench on there, but with these 12 points, it's fine. But yeah, outside of that, you know, we just need to hustle and get this back together. I still have to do paint correction on here. I've just been hustling so much getting everything else together in the engine bay. I haven't had time to do any paint correction, but you know, worst comes to worst, if um, I don't do any kind of paint correction before the cars and coffee, I'll live with it because I'm just more worried about getting the car out. And I think I have a, um, a scheduling conflict. So Fox Fest in Detroit, this is the second um, season or the second actual show for um, Fox Fest. Last year it rained. Uh, this year they're having it again at Fort Worth headquarters. And that's June 8th. I'm, I need to double check these dates, but if that's the case, if it's June 8th, I would not be able to make it. That's my daughter's prom. Uh, she's 18. She's getting ready to go away to college to Tougaloo in Mississippi. So um, very proud of that young lady for that. She's going to school to be a, a dermatologist. So all my money is, um, yeah, I, I don't want to really think about that right now, but let's try to help and get this car the way I want it before these kids continue to suck away all my money. So how can you help you ask? The biggest thing you can do to help is like and um, tell people about this channel and also watch as many videos as possible. So if, if I drop something, uh, make sure you hit that bell notification. And hey, like the, the first day interaction with these videos make a big difference. So um, please hit the bell notification. If you get something that pops up about me dropping a video, go ahead and click on it, um, share it, because that that first 24 hour interaction really sets the algorithm on YouTube. So, you know, the, the biggest thing you guys and gals can do to help pay for my kids college tuition is to watch those videos. So, hey, um, in all seriousness, I appreciate appreciate everybody out there. Um, I never um, dreamed of doing this content creation. I just got a notification on um, my YouTube analytics that this page has been seen um, over a million times. So, you know, that's something astonishing if, you know, when I sit and think about it, like um, y'all out there have spent time hearing me babble about something that I have a passion for. So, hey, I appreciate every single one of you, even, you know, the people who leave the nasty comments, they still take time to watch this video. <laughs> like, um, I think the the last um, shade that I got was from the um, High Rob Supercharged video, where I, I guess YouTube sent them to my channel because, you know, I made the video about the uh, small block Ford um, VMP supercharger and, and this guy kind of went in on me. And, you, you know, I, you can't take that stuff serious as a content creator because every that's just how social media is nowadays. Like people get a kick out of making um, shady comments. So, hey, I take the good with the bad and I just appreciate everybody out there who's been supporting us. So until next time, God bless.